Hi, I'm Terry from Jimmy Beans Wool and I'm here today to show you a great little cast on for when you have to cast on a small number of stitches and knit in a circular fashion from the center out. It's called Emily Ocker's Circular Cast On. And if you've uh, read any of Elizabeth Zimmerman's books or, or um, some of the other books that have been written out there, it will uh, show. This is the cast on they talk about and I might do it a little differently than some but it still works the same. So. Basically, if you can zoom in here on my hands, you're going to need your needle. In this case, I'm going to begin my circular knitting with magic loop, so I've got a long cable, uh, long circular needle, a crochet hook, and my yarn. And we're going to start by laying the yarn in your hand from the bottom to the top and over it, and then round three fingers and back up over the top of your index finger. So I made a loop with a long tail here. Next I'm going to hold the two strands together and I'm going to put my crochet hook in there and this is you know, a little awkward doing this at first but you'll get the hang of it. I kind of hold my yarn over there. I put my crochet hook through the center and pull a loop up I don't know, did you see that mm -hmm. there? And then I'm going to yarn over on my crochet hook and pull it through, just doing a single crochet. Now, I'm going to do it again, and I'm always going to work over the doubled part of the double strands of the loop I've made. So I'm going to go into the center, reach, yarn over, bring up a loop, and I'm just going to pull it through one. If you were crocheting, you would normally pull it through two, but I'm going to, I'm creating knitting stitches, so I'm going to leave them on the hook individually. Through the center, yarn over, bring a loop through, single crochet. So now I have three, I'm going to do eight. So there's four, oops, center, that's five, into the center, yarn through, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through. So that's six, seven, Eight. So now, and I'm going to have them kind of all bunched up together on my strand. You see I have eight stitches and a big loop and this tail. Now to get them on my magic loop, I'm going to slide the first four stitches onto my needle. I'm going to slide those all the way down to the other needle. Slide the second group of four onto my tip. Okay, now I'm done with the crochet hook. I'm going to turn my yarn so I am in home position for magic loop, which is having my working yarn, which is here, coming from the back needle. And you see I have this big loop here. Now this is what's kind of neat about this cast on. So I have my cast on stitches here. I'm going to pull this loop and it's going to short, or this tail, and it's going to shorten that loop. And I'm not going to pull it all the way tight just yet because I want to just kind of get it out of the way. So now I'm in position for magic loop. I'm just going to start and knit my first round. twisted something there, but we'll get it fixed up here. There we go. And there I've knit my first round, and now I'm going to close that hole up. And So you can see the hole I have, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to pull that loop and close it up. And when I come back and finish my project, I'm going to just weave in that tail. And now I can just continue to knit magic loop in the round. 
and in my next video I'm going to show you how I don't get ladders when I'm doing something large. So that's how you do Emily Ocker's cast on. I'm Terry from Jimmy Beans Wool. Thanks for watching. Thunder rumbles on this American summer night.